For lab 27, we're looking to see if or an organism has the ability to utilize phenylalanine as an amino acid as a source of energy. So similar to our decarboxylations that we've done in the past, we want to see if an organism can use a particular amino acid as a source of energy. In this case, we have phenylalanine slants that will be in this case snapped and then sealed to see if our organism can utilize that particular type of medium. So now what's interesting about this is that we can actually observe it until a couple of days later in which we'll add a little bit of ferric chloride on top of it and we'll see the color of the surface change. If we see the color of the surface change, it is positive for the deamination of phenylalanine, the removal of uh, the amino terminus from the amino acid. So this test is rather simple. Take a tube, stab, wait for a couple of days, and then afterward we'll wear a small amount of ferric chloride over the surface, kind of shake it around just a little bit and see if it actually changes color. If it does, it becomes positive for that particular deamination of phenylalanine. Laboratory 27, the phenylalanine test, which involves the deamination of phenylalanine by removing an, the amino terminus and converting it into phenylpyruvic acid, we can test media that is enriched in phenylalanine, inoculate it with different organisms, and after about 24 to 48 hours, we will add a few drops of ferric chloride on the surface of the slant to see if it changes color. So in this case, we're gonna take one as an example that has already been inoculated. We'll take directly five drops of our ferric chloride. Being careful not to actually touch the tip. Add a few drops. Typically five is the standard. And we'll rotate it gently across its surface. We'll do this for a few more. Again, being careful without touching the tip. Five drops. Close it and rotate around its surface. Our last one. Five drops. And then allow it to go cover the surface. Now, after letting it sit for a few moments, rotating it to see, we'll kind of observe the color of the slant. In this case, one color versus a clear cut green color being produced versus a negative type of result. Just to compare side by side. One that has reacted with the ferric chloride, meaning it possesses the phenylpyruvic acid present. In other words, it's positive for the deamination of phenylalanine and one that is not.